Hello and welcome. I'm Peggy and I thank you for joining us today and welcome to our kitchen. And we have two special people here. And I'm so excited about this. We have our chef, Daniel Hops. And Daniel is, you have many degrees behind. You're not, you don't just cook. You really are a chef. Yep, true chef, I guess. Uh, I'm a graduate of the Art Institute of Atlanta, right. 2002. Um, so I'm well, we're delighted a to have certified you today. chef. A certified <laughs> chef. Okay, so we all got to be on our toes today. And then next, next to him is Doug Sheely, and Doug is the proud owner of a restaurant called Fresh to Order. And Doug, thank you for coming. Oh, and being thank with you us for here. having us here. And he's been in the restaurant business and the food business for many, many years. And this is brand new to the upstate. Yes, ma'am. Fresh to order. It's, they have them in other places, but that's yes. exciting. We opened up uh, November 19th of last year. Okay, and you were on Woodruff Road. Yes, ma'am. Where all the traffic is, so it's <laughs> worth going out there. <laughs> and uh, we're just delighted to have you. And tell me, before you're going to do a recipe, and we're going to offer, of course, the recipe to you, but what are some of the things that you've brought, and what are your expertise? Well, we obviously, based off of our name, Fresh to Order, we, we focus on a um, scratch cooking. So basically, we are a, fine, fast, a fast fine dining concept. It's a fine dining food in a fast casual setting. Um, obviously, here on the table, you can see on my right, your left, be our bison burger. Uh, these are almond chicken skewers with uh, Asian slaw and sweet mashed potatoes. The sandwich. Sweet potatoes mashed. Oh, correct. That sounds yep. wonderful. Yep. Sweet potatoes yeah. mashed. Yep. Uh, Club panini next there with uh, peanut corn salad behind it, which is a super healthy dish. It's really good, very tasty. Got a lot of good herbs in there. Uh, and the last salad on the end there is a club salad. Um, one of our one of our top selling salads. That's salads. absolutely Another tasty. beautiful. Yeah. Now you do take out and dine in. Yes, and catering. Okay, so for people who are really busy and you don't have time to do the cooking from scratch, you can Call get ahead. Come and bring it home and you still Absolutely. have the, the freshness. That's what you're striving for, am I right? Absolutely, that's yeah. why I got involved uh, in the concept to start with is because of the, uh, the nutritional value of the, of the food items that we sell uh, along with the freshness, of course, and the fact that um, you can have um, any, everything from a bison burger to um, a corn relish, which is uh, uh, nutritionally dense foods uh, as opposed to just fats and simple carbohydrates. So, but you have an, a concept that people can dine quickly or can call in and it's ready and they can bring it home. But it isn't just your regular old fast food stuff. It's a cut above that. No, the, the, the motto or mantra is fine food fast. Correct. In 10 minutes for around $10. Now you sure sold me. <laughs> <laughs> sold me too. <laughs> so because I'll tell you, this, this is a, a much needed they're just people, I think, in this country today are so pressured. They're, everybody's trying to do so many things that even though they may want to be home and cook, it isn't always possible. Right. It's, it's always, you know, everybody's always on the go and always looking for something that's quick. And if we can offer them something, yeah, it, it may not be a one-minute McDonald's, but mm. if you wait four or five minutes on a typical day with us, you'll get one of these fantastic dishes that you see, uh, sandwich, Big and entrees. You brought just a sample. Of oh the yeah. Menu. Oh yeah. The because menu is you huge. Just mm -hmm. a variety of, of foods. Absolutely. Proteins, uh, complex carbohydrates, uh, plenty of um, uh, leafy, nutritional, uh, nutritionally dense uh, green leafed uh, menu items that we serve. So nutrition uh, in uh, fine food. Uh, and the recipes that Daniel and uh, his cohort, uh, Jesse Gideon, um, created um, are spectacular. So, so you have things in there that are your own creation that you, that you sell and Yeah, there are some the things. People. The majority of the food that, that is on the menu is Pierre Panos, who's our CEO and founder. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesse Gideon, who's our COO and corporate executive chef. Um, they obviously have done a fantastic job with the food. Um, 
making that fine dining food that you would typically get in a restaurant where you have to sit down for an hour and a half, putting it on the table in front of you in five to 10 minutes. Whether, like you said, whether it's to go or you're actually eating in the restaurant with us, um, but everything tastes fantastic. It's all scratch made, like I said, um, but it's really, really, really hard thought, well produced product. Okay, now this fresh to order is a franchise. Yes, ma'am. And you've ventured into this. I think it's exciting. <laughs> Me too. I, uh, I've been in the business uh, a number of years and actually retired for about six or seven years. And um, when I saw, when I ate for the first time in a fresh to order in Atlanta, Georgia, um, and saw the, uh, the eye appeal and then tasted the products, and I ordered all kinds of stuff just to taste it. I was so impressed and so uh, uh, got so excited that I immediately called and asked, "Are you franchising?" They said yes, <laughs> and I said, "I'd like to. I'd like to set an appointment." <laughs> okay, now this one is in Greenville yes, on Woodruff Road. Are there others here in this upstate, or are you the first? I'm the first. Uh, okay. We bought the uh, franchise rights for uh, Greenville Spartanburg area. And so in Spartanburg, you'll be having one over there, I'll bet. Pretty yeah, soon. I, I've had a lot of people come down from Spartanburg and very enthusiastically uh, encourage me to come there, <laughs> well, <that's laughs> which gave me a lot of uh, confidence to, to look there. Well, anyone who comes to South Carolina knows that South Carolina is a growth area. Oh, and goodness. we have the mountains and the ocean and, and a, a lot of good people. It's Absolutely. a nice place to live. I can see that. Yeah, so Absolutely. you're only going to add to to the niceness of it. <laughs> that, we congratulate our, you. Thank you very much. Yeah. And that's our that's our goal. Now, Dan, you do all kinds. You brought a special salad you're going to make, but you do all kinds of food, right? Yeah, yeah, like we said, uh, you know, burgers, paninis, which are hot-pressed sandwiches, um, different entrees. We have grilled chicken, steak, prime steak that we do. Um, chicken skewers, as you can see there. Um, we also do uh, at almond seared tuna, which is really good, which I'm going to show you on the salad here, one of our proteins that goes on our salads. Um, and, you know, it's, it's kind of a mix, mix and match thing where you can, you can add grilled chicken or the same chicken skewers to your salad. You can add steak to your salad. You know, there's a bunch of different options for your sandwiches and I, items like that. So, I mean, it's really caters towards the guests. One of our, one of our cultural items is we're guest-centric. We, everything we can do to make the guest feel more at home and um, really enjoy their experience and enjoy the food with us, we, we do, so. Well, now you've just opened, so how's the takeout business? Uh, it's great, as a matter people of fact, we just went online for Call Ahead and people are starting to really pick up on that and we're getting a lot of Call Ahead orders okay. Okay. Uh, off of the internet uh, for lunches and dinners and they come by and pick them up, and they're ready, and they take okay. them right out. And do you have a, a room or a meeting area where couples, clubs, or <clears throat> whatever can reserve a spot and have their own meal together? Or? We designed the dining area wherein it's in two halves, uh, and actually maybe even in thirds. Uh, so we do have areas we can wall off, so to speak, if we have a large. We can, we've had uh, 40, 50 people especially from one of the churches locally right. came on a Sunday <coughs> and we uh, facilitated a, a setting area. Let them have a spot where yes, they could all be. That's very yeah. nice. That's yeah. nice to know. Yes. All right. Now, Daniel, what, what do you call this salad? Uh, this is our Asian salad. Uh, it has an almond crusted tuna on it. And, uh, you know, it's super simple. I just want to do something very easily for everybody at home today. Um, and basically, we just have our, our, our greens here. This is just a, a mix of Baby field greens, romaine, there's some iceberg in here. There's also some cabbage and shredded, ca uh, shredded carrots in here. Um, so I'm going to take this. We have, this is our Dijon vinaigrette. It's one of our house dressings that we have. Um, and if you come and eat with us, if, if take it to go, we'll always put the dressing on the side for you if you, unless you want it tossed in. Um, if the salad sits for too long, obviously it gets soggy. Uh, but if you dine in with us, um, the salads will be tossed. We always like to toss the salads for you because it gets you the even disbursement of the dressing. It's not the dressing sitting on the side and you're trying to dip your lettuce and then you run out of dressing when you're done. Yeah. You know, so you get the perfect bite every time. And I'll go through that with these plates as well. That's obviously our plates are an odd shape for salad. So we'll, we'll talk about that as we go. Now this would be for, a, for a several people. Nope, oh, this is one this, person. Oh, oh my. <laughs> 
for around seven dollars. Yep. <laughs> so this this would be a meal until we put the protein on. Okay. Oh, correct. This is uh, you know this is what we call an uh, an entree salad. And that's so that's mixed greens. Yep. And then you've got the diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. Yep. Diced tomatoes. We have a little bit of mandarin orange here. Add a little bit of sweetness and texture to the salad. Candy walnuts. Do you make your own salad dressings? Yep, all of yeah. our dressings all are made recipes. in house. Um, now, what is that? That's candied walnuts, mixed nuts. So these are um, Brazil nuts and cashews and uh, peanuts mixed. This is pickled ginger that we chop up in house. Wait, back up a minute. <laughs> pickled ginger. Yep, pickled ginger. So you know, if you go to a a Japanese or an Asian restaurant, you usually have it with sushi or something like that. Um, these are uh, noodles that we crisp up. Again, adding texture to the those salad. Are, you've done something to those noodles? Yep, they're just <laughs> uh, they're just flash fried. Crisp them up so That's they beautiful. get nice and tall on the salad. And we take some. This is this is one of the kickers of the salad. Some fresh avocado. Beautiful. <laughs> and then... You know, you eat with your eyes. Yeah, sesame no, seeds. <laughs> you obviously love what you do. I, I do. <laughs> All right, Absolutely. The last piece is we're going to add our uh, almond-crusted tuna to this. So we, we crust this tuna in-house, obviously. Um, and then it goes on the side of the salad, like so. That's a sushi grade as well, I might add. So you could Ahi. pick it up and eat it if you wanted to. Yeah. Now what is that? That's the, so I'll, I'll turn it around and show you here in a second. So this is the way the salad comes to the table. Oh, my. <laughs> so that, that is a meal. Yes, ma'am. It's a meal in itself. And so you could add whatever you wanted. You could make that salad and add chicken to it. Any protein. We have like what? eight or nine proteins. You can put any protein you want on it. Yep. And what do you call that? Asian. It's an Asian salad. That one oh, down I, there is the okay. club salad. So. An Asian salad. Now, we have the recipe, <laughs> and we'd love to share it with you. And, of course, you can do your own mix and match. If there's something you don't want, you don't have to use it. But you can put chicken in there as well as beef or, or whatever, even leftovers. You could put some he, leftover he, he, turkey he or leftover. whatever you happen to have, <laughs> exactly. right? Absolutely. I've been known to do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's recipe number 856, 856. We do need that number. And just send a self-addressed stamped envelope, if you can, to the Peggy Denny Show, Post Office Box 1616, Greenville, South Carolina. Carolina 29602 and we'll have it on its way to you and this is a perfect thing as we're heading into spring and summer to enjoy I mean it's it's a light but yet it has the basic food things that you need it has the nutrients well, it's a very dense in nutrients and that's the whole idea is to get the proper nutrients um, in our foods so as to be able to uh, let the customer know that um, you can eat as healthy as you want here. Yeah, and that, that is a, that is, you say one person, I think it would, <laughs> that would be a meal for two people. Exactly. <laughs> we'll be right back, so stay with us.